sub YouTube it's for the franchise Kyle. We're coming at you again with a brand new episode of the New York Rangers franchise member Kenzie Blackwood and that he's not three and four. I have no clue what he is, but I do know for a fact he is in fact not three and four. Andres Nielsen, on the other hand, he he might be three and four. Who knows with him? But we did change up the sliders a little bit, so we did turn down um, some of the offensive sliders, so like the, uh, the accuracy has got bumped down by like 5 for the, the uh, whatchamacallits, um, the other team, uh, the AI, that's what they're called. Yeah, we, we turned down some of their accuracy, uh, just for the fact that sometimes their shots are like way too accurate. So, like, their one-timers, I think, were at a base 65. So we turned that down to, like, 45 or 55. Um, one of the two, because, you know, they're called one-timers for a reason. They're not every-timers. Oh, Wait, you go back there? I'm not sure if he's okay, but he's, uh... Oh, come on. There we go. Up to Clark. Clark with it. Oh, come on. There we go. Get him all, Ken. Oh, come on, Pasternak. There we go, Malkin. Take that one out. No, come on. There we go, Taves. Oh, Taves got a stumble. Uh, that was a thing. Also, turn down their aggressiveness. Their aggressiveness was at like six fifty-five, sixty something, like that. But it was just way too like. You saw how they how they were. Like they are way too aggressive, especially like on point, or when they're up. They're up. They build a PK, and they'll still be playing aggressive. Like, they're not playing defense, not playing, you know, laid back offense. No, they're still pushing offense. Uh, so we did, uh, turn that back a little bit, too. There we go. I mean, if we were to hit Marsham, we're going to hit Marsham. There he is, Matt, uh, Mastin Sush Sushko, I believe is how to pronounce his name, but he is making his NHL debut this episode. I mean, not a bad game. Came over in uh, one of the trades that sent some players over to, was that the Wade Allison trade that sent, that we got Sushko and Zumala back? Um... Also, I found a thing, too, that Robert Haig was actually, like, bringing down our team morale. Uh, so we, like, I looked through it because it had a little, a, like, a little notification next to it. So I checked it out. Um, and, well, pretty much it was that Robert Haig was bringing down the morale. So I, uh, pretty much just switched him out for Mark Stahl. And in doing so, uh, the Calgary Flames picked him up. So... The Calgary Flames are now in possession of uh, Robert Haig. So I think it's 
pretty fair, I guess, to say that. I mean, we picked them up, and uh, we've picked. Ah, uh, leave out words. We picked him up off of waivers. That nah, it's only fair that he gets picked back up off of waivers. I mean, he was his contract wasn't the worst. You know, it was 1.2 for what was it, six years, seven years, something like that. He had three years left on it. I mean, he was just a seventh D guy for us. I mean, play when guys were hurt, but. We went after Zuma, uh, Zumla, Zumala, Yegor, Zumla, something like that. From the Flyers, undrafted guy, has a really big upside in real life. Probably not actually reflected all that well in the game because it's the game. But, you know what? Hey. At least, uh, at least we get something to replace him with. We have, we have a guy for next year who's going to come up and he's going to be a cheaper version of... Of, um, Peg. Oof, come on. No, that's... Come on, Jay, someone do something. Grop, nope. There we go, offsides. Not sure who. How do you get. How do you honestly get an offside? Like, how do you not know where the puck is? 25 hits to 7 hits. So, we're keeping the hit thing alive. Come on. Alright, that works, I guess. Something like that. Who knows? 14, that game is still scoreless. Not many. And the Sorelli have finally won a face off with us? Oh my lord. I mean, speaking of guys also who are. Like in that same situation Robert Haig is in, where it's like you're not really putting up what you're getting paid to do. Andrew Stroh is also in that boat. I mean, he had an okay season last year. This season, nowhere close to the same season uh, last year. But I don't know. I feel like I'll, I do want. To, I don't want. To, I'm not going to set him down and get claimed off waivers because that's not. What I want to do, and that's not, uh, that's not very cash money, but, I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I do look to move him on at some point, I mean, just pretty much as a, a salary dump, I think he's only making, I don't think he's making much, only like 2, like 2.5 at most, so we got him for a steal. Like, it was a straight steal. Like, if you got him for so low, we actually didn't have to pay him any, um... I don't think we had to pay the Lightning a, uh... Compensation pick. That's what I'm looking for. OV, there we go, bud. Up to Lafreniere. I thought he got back in time. I guess he did not. Jay O'Brien, though, taking the face off. He should... Oh, missed. <clears throat> Clone cam. Nope. Oh, come on. How is it off sides? Did we not? Did he... See the puck? He's like, oh, you're gonna do? I'm just, gonna, I'm just not gonna get back over. Oh my lord. <clears throat> All right, Ovechkin, bring it up now. 
There we go. Beats Andres Nielsen right there for the first goal of the game right there. That's the assistant captain right there, baby. All right. Sorelli cannot get past him, but uh, not letting Kerr get off easy. So there we go, look at that save. That was almost a guaranteed goal if we uh, didn't switch up the sliders. Come on. All right. Brusque, Bergeron, Bjork, uh, Lafreniere, Taves, and Malkin. Not a bad line at all. There we go. Ooh, Brusque shots wide. Out to Clark. Oh, Malkin. No? Alright, come on, Mackenzie. <clears throat> New York's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they win. Jay O'Brien taking the face off. Oop. That, nope. Rocked on the play. Intercepts the pass. Oh, it looks like he's bagged up there. He's gonna try and finish the shift, but he's pretty clearly not at a hundred percent. Misses the step and over. Here's a shot goalie with a shot. All right, iconic with it now. Trying to account for Jay O'Brien. Ooh, O'Brien shots wide. Ooh, that one almost dribbles in right there. Lucky bounce that uh, doesn't fall in. York to O'Brien. Oh, come on. Sandin down there by himself. Oh, bad pass. Guess left doesn't get it. York breaks it up. Oh, gonna dump it in. Kill that remaining couple of seconds left. Gets us into the third period. Up 1 0. Give me a look at the shots on that. I know it's a very not shot heavy game, really. Alright. Well, okay, Nielsen. We get it. Alright. No, alright. We're gonna... Why are we crashing the net? There's no need to do that. Ovi, Ovi. Nope, can't get past McAvoy. No? Alright, we're not gonna dump that over. We had a guy like all the way over there. Like he was wide open. Like there was not a soul around him. Thirteen saves for Blackwood. Yeah, 
Trek Force Becca. Okay. Oh boy. Yep, there goes the uh, there goes the shot. I mean, we're doing really good until then. Like, see, a goal like that, I expect to go in. Like, I'm not mad a goal like that goes in. It's like when they're taking slap shots from the blue line and theirs are going in. Those are the ones I get frustrated at. I think everyone who does that gets frustrated at those ones. Ooh, Parise with it now. All right. Lafreniere, O'Brien, Thornton out now. What a weird, weird line this is. Clark with it. Oh, come on. How is... There we go. Jumbo Joe, come on, bud. No, we're, just, we're just crowd the goalie. Why are we forcing face-offs right now? I don't understand why we force face-offs. Nope, come on. Oh. Out of the box. There we go. There we go, Nope. York with it. Here's the chance to set up now. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. An excellent amount of player in front. Gets back and throwing off into the puck. Oh, what a stop. Puck knocks loose after that hit. Back to the blue line. And too much traffic. All right, Cam. Oh, boy. Oh boy, there we go. Look at that reaction. Come on, Blackwood. Good job, Blackwood, but oh come on, Marshan. I don't know who we hit. We hit Bergeron or do we hit um Marshawn? There we go. I don't think that I don't 63. 63 is Marshawn, right? Because I don't think 63 is Pasternak. Uh, Alright. Do so well. Oh, they'll give him a game misconduct? Oh, that's just fighting. Boy, if there was an opportunity to oh, they'll give him a game misconduct. Alright, 
go. Oh, come on. How do we not get that across to to probably the league's best scorer, Brian, uh, Jay O'Brien? Where's the cell in there? Alright, Sandin's gonna send that one long. Oh, nice glove snag by Mackenzie Blackwood right there. Keeping this game nice and close, or keeping this game um. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. <clears throat> Moves it quickly over to Pasternak. Devastating hit on the play. Dave, sometimes you can hear the hit. That one you there we go. Just hold that one, freeze it for now. All right. Oh boy. See? One time like that should not go in every time, but they were. It's alright. We got it. 2.33 left. Haven't allowed a goal yet. There we go. Draw that. I, don't, I actually didn't touch. Um, the only penalty I didn't touch was game misconduct because we were getting them way too often. Uh, holding. I did not touch holding at all, actually. Oh, oh, come on. Lost my Nier with it. Cancel shot animation. Ooh, Titanic stick poke's not working. Lost my Nier, just get it. Oh, come on. Lafreniere, can we get past? No, we cannot get past. Yeah. Oh boy. There we go, Alexis Lafreniere with the snipe. That is what you want to see from the young fella right there. His 24th goal of the season. That is a big time professional play right there. That's why we extended him last season. I mean, yeah. Big time players make big time plays. And with what was it, seconds left in the game. 
comes up clutch and just hits the sniper there. 52 seconds left. So if Blackwood can hold on for just a little longer back there, we will have... I think our first victory in the last two or three episodes. Taves with it, Taves deking, Taves to Malkin, Malkin shoots in, Malkin scores. Two goal lead with 33 seconds left on the clock, the empty netter. I mean, just because we're down a man doesn't mean we can't push the puck up. After we got these Hall of Fame players, which we got these guys who know what they're doing. Alright. There we go, Adam Fox. There we go. Three goal lead now. Yeah. Full first line, or full third line now. Fourth line didn't play that much this game, actually. So I know it was, a, it was an HLFB, but he did not see the ice at all. Yep, there we go. But that is what you want to see right there. That is a quality win. That is a big league win right there for your New York Rangers right there. Mackenzie Blackwood. Come, are we in Boston right now? Are we at home? I actually didn't even know this. Mackenzie Blackwood shows up, performs today, only allowed the one goal. You know, this is what we traded for. This is that 30-goal winner we traded for right there. I mean, we didn't give up a ton, but they also weren't asking for a ton from us. But, hey. Look at this, Adam Fox, 13 hits, big defensive stop for Adam Fox this game, showing that he is that first line defenseman that we are looking for. One assist, uh, one goal, and, uh, no assist, 13 hits, Mackenzie Blackwood, one goal allowed on 22 saves, a 9-5-7, and Alexis Lafreniere, I mean, showing up big time now that Capococco is injured, he's got one goal, zero assist, four hits, but... If you guys liked the episode, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys missed any episodes, check the playlist down below. It's full of all of the New York Rangers episodes. We're on episode, like, what, 54 right now, I think? 55? Something like that. I'm really not entirely sure. 54, that's what we're on right now. Blood test on YouTube. Peace out. Rock on. And stay super duper classy, I guess.